Hi guys, I have a haul video. Um, with everything that went on the last couple weeks, uh, I've had to be out several times. And if I was near someplace where I wanted to pop in, because I've not been doing that popping in thing, um, I have picked up a few things and I haven't hauled it. So I'm going to have kind of a long video I, because then last Saturday, uh, we went to a, um, estate sale too. So I have some odds and ends from here and there, uh, a garage sale and then an estate sale of things because, um, this one company that does estate sales here, <clears throat> if you go on Saturday, she cuts everything half price. And then she usually, she knows what's not going to sell. <clears throat> and unfortunately, that's the stuff I want to buy. So, or fortunately, because she usually gives me a pretty good deal. Excuse me. Um, and Jeff doesn't mind taking me because it's usually set up pretty pretty well and uh, so he takes me without too much fuss anyways you guys have seen these <clears throat> Lisa and I were on live stream and I showed you guys these these came from doll this is a Dollar Tree uh, haul but I had gotten these the other day and I this I'm sorry for the glare guys there maybe that'll work um, there we go uh, it's snowflakes trees and presents and these are little wooden um, They've got stickies on the back. I got them to make like embellishments in a December daily or something like that. Or they'll be really cute on cards. Some of them have glitter on them. Like one thing in each package just has glitter. And I don't care so much about the glitter. I like the little wooden embellishments. But I had shown you this one with the trees and this one with the stockings. But somehow or another I was in the store the other day and... Uh, they had, they had these, but they also had this one, which, um, I liked the little stars and the little plain wooden trees. So I got more snowflakes, the wooden trees instead of the, the sparkly trees, and then some little stars. So I got one more package of those. I think we're going to have to have a, there we go, a pickup day. And then... Um, I always watch their stencils. These are new. I hadn't seen these before. Most of the time, the stencils I see are not something I liked. So, and I don't have a lot of stencils, and I will probably, I don't know, I'll probably pull the cardboard off of this, but I really like this one, and it's probably going to be hard to see. Let's see. Let's see if I put this under it, if you can see it. No, not at all. Let's see. There we go. That might work. Um, I love this little bird. Uh, the heart, this says love, and then there's a rose. I liked the flowers on this one. But the little bird is what I really liked. And I mean, for a dollar? You can't go wrong for a dollar. Um, and they're plastic stencils, and even if I take this cardboard off of it, which I haven't decided, we'll see, because I'm not sure, but then they had this one, and like I said, their stencils are usually not something I really like, but I liked both of these. Look at these feathers. Now oh, there's feathers and arrows. I really liked the feathers. So the little bird and then the feathers were were something that I will use. So I thought you guys might want to keep an eye out for these. Um, the other ones were circular and these are shaped like a flower for some reason. And I've seen other people that have gotten things that were... Um, well, and what's weird is the flowers are not the same shape. Okay. The petals are different sizes, so it's like, they're this, oh, this one has eight petals, and this one only has six petals. Okay, designs must be different sizes or something. 
So I got those. And then I picked up this. This is raffia. Um, it says it's rayon, but I have a I have a project in mind. This was the only color they had. Um, it's a yarn, but it's um it says it's rayon, but it's kind of it feels like paper. So um I picked that up. Hopefully you guys will see that project soon. Soon, I hope. Um, and then I've been looking for another one of these. I keep my um, needles and my um, wax linen, one of, one of the spools of wax linen right here at the table in one of these. And I had wanted another one because they do seal up real well. Um, now, I cannot remember what I wanted it for, but I had wanted another one. So um, I would like some bigger ones, but they didn't have the bigger ones right now. Back when I bought the first one, they had bigger ones. So I'll have to keep my eyes open and see. Oh, I don't know why I put those down there because they're going to go over to the left of me. Then I had to go into Joanne's for something for my mama. So, you know, I... Um, I always check out the clearance and they didn't have very many colors but these are marabou art crayons they're water soluble um i don't like a lot of water soluble media but i do like these art crayons and i like these marabou ones um they only had these three colors left because they were in the clearance aisle and they're probably colors that i have used pretty far down on mine um i know that uh this purple, if they'd have had more than one purple, I'd have bought it, but they didn't have but one purple. So then, and I did not need washi tape, but you know, if it's on clearance and it's this lovely brown Tim Holtzy washi, washi tape, I had to, I had to just have it. It was just, um, this one, I don't know. It looks like it might be have some um writing on it this one is uh definitely it says shipment collect um, then it's got a map this one is definitely a map this one looks like um notebook paper it's got a red line and blue lines and this is just kind of two um, smaller and I couldn't tell how much it was, so I took it up to the front, and it was $3.47. And so for $3.47, I went ahead and got it, even though I do not need washi tape. But I really like these browns in this Tim Holtz washi tape, so I got those. Okay, then I'm going to do the... um. What do you call that? The uh, estate sale last. But we went to a garage sale and that she had this big, huge pan. And I've been wanting to do some, um, what do you call those? Echo dyed papers. And this pan is pretty good sized and pretty deep and square. And she had it in her free box. Now, I wouldn't have bought much this other stuff so much, but she let me have this pan for free. And since I'm going to use it outside, uh, over the grill or over a fire, I, this will, I didn't, I wanted something that wasn't going to get, that if I trashed it, it didn't matter. So, um, hence a free pan made me happy. Um, then she had these papers and um this is it was black and white these are these are punch outs and i like the black and white um like i said i kind of bought this more than anything because she had given me a free pan so because i didn't need paper but you know how that goes and then she had these, and she wanted 50 cents a piece for these. And again, I don't have a lot of stencils now. These may be something that I'm not real interested in because you have to do a bunch of layers. Um, 
But for 50 cents a piece, I took them. And I think they will, you know, I think especially this one um, ought to be fun on the jelly plate. And there's, so basically I think there's, I think there's three sten three actual stencils in here. And they do have lineups where you could line them up to to get them layered up. See, that's what this is. This is this was something you're going to have to layer up. And now even on the jelly plate, even if you only used one, it would just give you this other layers of um turn them this way. Um layers of color uh you know it might not show as a rose or as leaves or anything like that but the layers of color might and of course you know this part this little gold one is dots so that that's always cool so anyways i got those now to the estate sale and like i said this one particular company um what i'm going to do is i think i'll put it all on the table and then i'll put it back in the tub um, as we go um, but this one particular company that I go to she always does a Saturday half price thing and I grabbed the tub not because I wanted the tub but because uh, I needed something to put stuff in and I told her I, I just needed a plastic bag to put stuff in and she said oh just keep the tub and so you know now I found Rolodex stuff all over. They weren't all in one place. I don't know. They It was so funny. But um, I really want to do iCADs. And look at this sack of Rolodex cards. So there is one big old sack of Rolodex cards. Then this is Rolodex tabs with the letters on them. There were more Rolodex cards. And I have a couple of Rolodexes that I really like that I've gotten at um, uh, thrift stores. But I really liked this one. Um, I think this one would work real well for art cards because it doesn't have to spin all the way around. And um, it's heavy. The base of it is heavy. This is... Rolodex file junior, but all of these cards will fit it. So, um, and, and it, now it was apparently well used as far as the tabs go. Now you put art stuff over the papers and stuff over them. That's okay. But so much of the time, like the spinny Rolodex I have, when you start arting on these cards, if you put anything on them that sticks out from the edges, it's not going to spin. So this, this one looked like it might be fun to use, plus it's got, um, what do you, I don't know which way it goes, but it's got a stand so that the Rolodex sits in a different position. I think maybe you would use it this way so that it's a little higher away from you, but, um, I was I was tickled to find all of these. Um, and this was one of the first things I found when I went in. And I figured they were going to be way too pricey. But she did a good deal for me. But aren't these beautiful? And I have no idea if they're all here or not. But uh, I just thought those would be such cute journaling cards in um, journals. And I love irises, so um, they, that made me really happy. I love this little box, too, of course. And, you know, we have to make sure we have Santa stuff for, for Mr. Jeff. So um, I found some Santa, and these, these are Coca-Cola Santa cards. It was an odd mix of stuff in this house. Um, these are bamboo, bamboo skewers, skewers. Now, um, let's see, what did she have on these 50 cents? Um, I don't think package has ever been opened. 
Uh, I Lisa has done a book where she used um, skewers to put it together, and I have some bamboo bamboo skewers, but they were tinier. And I think this would be fun to maybe try putting a book together with. So I snatched them up. Well, with the cards were these score pads. And I really like the paper. It has nothing to do with the cover. It has to do with the paper. And, you know, I probably could have gotten more than these. But I just got these. I figured that was enough. I had I had other things. These are whole reinforcements. I have no idea how many's in there, but um, we all like those things just for the fun of it. Around tags, and you can color these. You just um, take the the actual label. Let's let's take a piece off of here so that it. But you can um, color them with ink. So I can make different colored hole reinforcements around for tags and things. So I thought that was cool. Since I didn't, I, I probably have some of these somewhere, but I don't remember where they're at. So. And then, okay, as always, um, you can usually find this kind of little notepads where they come in the mail. Um, I really like the color of these. It says, we're all in this together, and it's the arc, and I just thought that was so cute. So I picked these two up, and then I found this bag of them, and... Um, there, must, there was something in this bag specifically that I, I liked. I can't remember what it was. She had all kinds of these. Oh, there was another one of these. That one's a little bent. Oh, this one is the one I... I've been sort of collecting Christmas stuff to do a, um, a December daily. And I just thought that was really pretty. So I snatched up this bag... And then um, this one has, it has coffee. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And it has a little, and a notepad. I don't need notepads, but um, when I was thinking about journal stuff, you know. And these were book plate kind of things. They're from Casey and Company. Don't think this has been opened. But, um, and there again, it wasn't anything I needed, but uh, these little book plates are kind of cute, maybe on the front of um, journals or something like that. So I got those. And then my expensive purchase. No, oh, okay. This was $7, uh, half price on $7. Um, it's, it's huge, it's heavy. Let me see if I need to get it all the way in the picture. Back up here. Barely. Okay. Um, I don't know what she wanted for it originally, but she gave it to me for $7. It is huge. And I don't normally pay $7 for books I want to tear up. But I had to have it. And I'll show you why. Um, I can't let, I can't, um, I can't tear it up until Jeffrey reads it because he wants to read it. There is a magnifying glass in this little packet right there so that you can read these front pages because now this paper is not too slicky slick, so I should be able to coffee dye it. But look at these lovely little itty bitty front pages. And then we get some giant numbers. But look at this. 
This is the New York Daily Times front page from 1853. And of course, it's a copy, but I should be able to coffee dye these pages. I just, I know I felt like $7 is a lot. Um, it was just, it's so pretty. Now there are some um, pictures in here. That's a, um, an old cartoon. These pages were the ones that I really loved, though. And the book is just filled with them. Of course, I love these gigantic numbers. And I... Like I said, I don't normally pay $7 for a book I'm going to tear up, but I just couldn't pass this one up. Oh, this is the Titanic. Nope, that's a Hindenburg. Some of these pictures are really awesome, too. That is fabulous. American writer F. Scott Fitzgerald, a chronicler of the 1920s lifestyle with his family aboard ship in 1926. And these, look at these tiny little pictures of the front page. Oh, and I love this one. Pick it. Ladies, tailors, strikers. And this is a fabulous image. So there was some fun images as well as the newspaper front pages. But I just... And of course, I guess I get uh, carried away when I go into her estate sales. But that is what I wanted to show you today. And... Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the things, and um, I, I didn't really tell you what I have planned for all these things, but uh, well, some of these newer ones we may find that we I don't want to use, but. If nothing else, these are giant pieces of paper. So, anyways, guys, um, let me read you a quote from our 1001 Ways to Creativity book and clean up the mess I just made behind me because I can't even get out of here now. Oops, I can't find the right page. Here we go. Fiction is the truth inside the lie. Stephen King. Fiction is the truth inside the lie. I don't know about that one. Um, the last few that I've read out of here, I have not been real impressed with. Anyways, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.